The 53-year-old South Korean man was in prison for 20 years on charges for rape and murder of a 13-year-old child that he didn't commit in 1988. But finally, Yoon sang yeol cleared his name in court after 32 years as the court overturned his conviction on retrial after one of the country's most notorious serial killers confessed to the 1988 rape. Recently, the Suwon District Court offered an apology to Yoon on behalf of the judiciary, saying the incorrect ruling of the past was made due to wrongful acts by investigation agencies. Yoon seemed very pleasing and satisfied after hearing not guilty. And this was what happened. Yoon's case, commonly referred to as the Hwasang serial murder case, was classified as the eighth case of 10 serial murders that had occurred between 1986 and 1991 in Hwasong, Gyeonggi Province. However, the serial murder case has stayed unresolved for almost three decades and was even made to a movie, Memories of Murder, which was directed by Oscar-winning director Bong Joon-ho. In 1989, a district court wrongfully convicted then 22-years-old Yoon, sentencing him to a lifetime in prison as the case was initially concluded as Yoon's copycat crime of the other murder cases in Hwasong. He had pleaded innocent, claiming the police forced him to confess to a crime he did not commit. But the Supreme Court put him behind bars for almost two decades until he was released on parole in 2009. Meanwhile, Lee chun -jae, a real criminal of the Hwasang serial killing, was already serving a life sentence for murdering his sister-in-law in 1994. It seemed that the Hwasang killings would remain unsolved since Lee was already serving in prison. However, police announced last year that advanced police investigation technology identified Lee's DNA in evidence, and Lee admitted his responsibility for 10 cases in the city, including the 8th case. Since Yoon was confirmed innocent, he will receive criminal compensation for his 20 years after being imprisoned. And it is estimated that Yoon will receive compensation of up to 1.76 billion won when multiplying the amount of compensation per day and the number of days in custody. According to the Korean Herald, Yoon said he has forgiven Lee as well as the police officers who tortured him. He said, I had to make peace with the past and the people who wronged me and accept the fact that some things can't be changed so that I can move on. Will his loss of 20 years of life be rewarded with money? This was Sumiyu from Korea Now.